Molds for production are usually made of aluminum. Aluminum is easy to machine from a solid block or be cast from a pattern. Aluminum is an excellent conductor of heat, so it cools the plastic parts efficiently. Prototype molds and molds for low production quantities might be made out of wood, fiberglass, and even plaster. When the sheet is sealed against a mold surface, air under the sheet is trapped. Using a vacuum to remove the air forces the sheet against the mold surface. The air under the sheet leaves the mold through vents. To remove large amounts of air, the mold has gaps in the assembly. Drilled vent holes are used in locations where small volumes of air are likely to be trapped. Molds making more than one part, or molds with divided sections, like this refrigerator liner mold, need uniform venting. Each mold or mold section must remove the air at the same time. Insufficient venting or uneven venting can cause longer cooling times, poor surface detail, and deformed parts. The vacuum system to remove air from the mold consists of the vacuum pump, vacuum reservoir tanks, also called surge tanks, piping and hoses to connect the vacuum lines to the mold, and gauges to measure the amount of vacuum. There will also be on and off valves, and valves to control the rate at which the vacuum is applied. As you've seen, when the heated sheet is sealed against the surface of the mold, a vacuum is used to remove the air out from under the sheet. Atmospheric air pressure is the force that pushes the sheet against the contours of the mold. The air that was removed from the mold goes through the vacuum piping to vacuum storage tanks. A vacuum pump pumps this air to the atmosphere to restore the vacuum inside the tanks for the next cycle.